Hi, welcome to Big Hat Homestead. Today we will be making pepper pots out of five gallon buckets. I'm going to make two types of buckets. One will be the self-watering bucket for those of us that don't like to water every day. And the second will be the traditional bucket with the holes in the bottom. Um, and all the water will drain out. So you will need to water that daily or have a drip irrigation system. Okay, let's get started. First, let's put the holes in the buckets. You can use a wood burning tool if you don't have a drill. Okay, now that we're done with that, let's move on to the self-watering wicking bucket. What you're gonna need is two pieces of perforated tubing that are cut to size with covers on the end. You'll also need a piece of landscape cloth. I already know that these are four inch tubing. So what you need to do is put your hole one inch below the height of the tubing. So my hole will be at three inches. I'm only using this drill to show you the approximate location of the hole inside the bucket. I will be drilling the hole from the outside. Don't forget you need a tape measure. Take a tape measure and measure the height of your hole. My hole will be three inches because I have a four inch tubing. On this bucket, I'm drilling in the side because we want to create a reservoir that will hold water in the bottom of the bucket that the plant can pull from. show you on the outside how the tubing would look on the inside and you will see that the hole will be approximately one inch below the top of the perforated tubing. That space is needed, it's an air space and that's what helps the roots thrive and to pull water from the reservoir. I do know that it does work and I am using this process and have used it for quite some time successfully. And this is what the inside of the self-wicking bucket will look like and you will place the landscape cloth over the top of the perforated tubing. I rinsed the buckets out and now we're ready for planting. Now I'm going to add potting mix and you can use whatever potting mix you desire. One tip I will give you with gardening is utilize unused items or items you might otherwise throw away to help you with your gardening. Here I have an old water pitcher and it actually helps me fill up my containers rather quickly. So that's just one tip. Okay, now I'm going to move the buckets to the water spigot so that I can moisten the soil prior to planting my pepper seed. The reason you want to moisten your potting soil prior to planting is because the soil needs to be wet. 
and you don't want to put your seeds in there and douse down the potting soil and your seeds just float everywhere. So give it a good watering all the way through until you see the water start to come out the sides and the bottom. Do that a few times to make sure that soil is thoroughly moistened. And you don't have to use seeds. You can use plant starts if you prefer. That will work just as well in these five gallon buckets. I'm lifting the bucket just to show you how the water drips out the bottom. And for the self-watering or wicking bucket, the water will drip out the side. That's how you know when you're watering that your pot has enough water in it. I took this side picture to show you the difference between the two types of bucket. The one on the left is a self-wicking bucket and it drains very rapidly to that reservoir and the plants go there when they need the water. Whereas the other bucket, the plant is sitting in that water until it completely drains out. These two buckets appear to have the same amount of soil before the watering, but remember we have that reservoir with the four inch tubing, so four inches of that bottom is just tubing and not soil. That's what allowed the left bucket to drain much faster than the right. These are the seeds I will be planting. They're the hot lemon pepper seeds. They need to be planted a quarter inch deep. And if they're planted in the ground, it's 18 or 24 inches apart. In containers, 12 inches apart. And the seedlings will emerge in approximately 10 to 21 days. These seeds are special because my sister gifted them to me. And I thought they would look cute in the yellow buckets. They're gonna make a great addition to Pepper Lane. I'm only gonna plant four seeds. The spacing recommended is one per 12 inch container, but I'll plant two in case one of them doesn't make it. And if all four do make it, I will take the extra ones out and put them in another pot. When I first started gardening, I had a salsa pepper mix and I probably put about 15 seeds in one bucket. And uh, most of them did come up, but only about two or three survived because they crowded each other out. And the ones that did survive were very spindly. So uh, just give your peppers the right amount of spacing in order to get a great harvest. I want you to take a look at these two buckets. I've only planted in one because the other one is still too wet. It hasn't completely drained. And that's the difference between the two buckets. One drains quickly and the other drains slowly. Don't forget to label your plants. Here's the front and the back of my label. I put as much information as I can so when I'm out in the garden, I don't have to come, come back in and look it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you've seen here, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll watch this progress together. I'll keep you updated. Bye.